Good morning, guys. We are up. We are in Hazelwood, Missouri, getting ready to. Well, what I want to do is go out and pull my tarps and straps and get everything off the truck and ready to go so that when these guys get here, they can just come out and unload me. But uh, what I'm going to have to go do is pull the majority of the bungee cords off because I'm looking at the radar. It is looking like it is getting closer and closer to raining again. Uh, so, unfortunately, I don't know how critical it is for this stuff to stay dry, but I want a tarp, so I'm assuming it's pretty critical. So, we'll just go out, we'll pull a bunch of bungee cords off to where, you know, the wind don't blow my tarps off. Because they'll probably have me go inside to unload now, so at least the other locations do that. So. <sighs> get up this morning news feeds full of people talking about the state of the union that the president addressed not the actual state of the union but <laughs> here's my opinion on it i'm just gonna i'm gonna try not to get political here but my opinion is mr president if you want to know what the state of the union is talk to the people uh I know people on both sides, Republican and Democrat, that are very upset with your tactics. Uh, they don't feel like you're doing the job that you were hired to do. Yes, Mr. President, you were hired by the people. You are paid by us. <laughs> so, that's my opinion on the whole subject. The uh, people are upset, and I many different topics I've seen over on the on Facebook. People are upset. You know, I'm upset. Good grief. I'm making uh, three times the money that I was when I was off the road and still struggle to get by. It shouldn't be a struggle for a guy that, I mean, at $20 an hour, I should be able to go work a 40-hour week and get by. I'm not saying I'm going to get rich by any means. But I should be able to work a 20 hour job, 20, 20 dollar an hour job, 40 hours a week, and still get by. Not be on a ship going whoop, straight down in the bottom. That's my opinion. So we're going to go out. We're going to have a wonderful day because I didn't watch the State of the Union, so I don't know what all was said. I'm sure TikToks and all that's going to have everything up before long, but. I'm going to go out. I'm going to enjoy my day. It's Friday. We're going to do our best to get in and out of this place, this place twice today. Okay, well, I'm still on a political horse. I'm going to just throw this out here real quick, too. Got to quit focusing on Republican and Democrat. When you focus on a one-party system, you tend to lose focus on what they're actually doing. Uh, can't stay focused on this whole... I'm a Democrat, that's the only way I'm ever going to vote. Or I'm a Republican, that's the only way I'm going to vote. Let me tell you a secret. They're both crooked. All right, we finally made it out of there. We're on our way down to get our reload to come right back. Uh, talk to the old boy. I mean, I'm going to be... If we can't get in, there, in and out of there in less than an hour, I don't think I can make this happen. Uh, hopefully we can get in and out. You know, in under an hour, I'm probably, I'm probably not going to get as fancy with the tarp as I did coming over here, but uh, we'll probably just cover it and send it. But whew, we're going to be cutting it close. I got, the, I got the guy's phone number. I told him, I said, I'll, I'll get in touch with you. What sucked is it started raining. I couldn't pull my tarps outside, you know, while they were waiting on me. So I had to come inside, pull my tarps. Uh, their big forklift naturally was broken, so they could only take off two bundles at a time instead of taking a whole stack off, so it took it a little longer. But that's trucking. That's the way it just goes some days. Uh, if we can't unload it, we'll go home. If we can, we're gonna go send it, you know. You know, we kind of talked it out. He said, if we can, we'll, we'll get you in. But I'm, I, I'm not going to come all the way up here just be said, ah, we're not going to get to you today and then tell me to go home. That's, 
that'd be 200 extra miles that's unnecessary. <laughs> so that's what we got going. That's the game plan at the moment. We're just gonna see how it goes down here because obviously it doesn't matter now. Uh, oh, I was hoping to be out there before nine and here it is. Uh, 9 30 we're just getting on the road so it is what it is we'll we'll, we'll figure it out one way or the other so i'm trying to figure out this minivan gets in front of me then starts hitting the brakes for no reason uh I was trying to keep a safe stopping distance it's raining out obviously and this guy gets over in front of me and starts slowing down and you know i'm trying to keep my following distance because google's showing it is slow through here not my visibility is not very good so uh we don't want to be locking down on the brakes if we don't have to especially going downhill it takes longer those a lot of people say well, you're empty. You can stop in a heartbeat. I'm empty. I'm going to slide before I stop. It's going to take me longer to get stopped empty than it does loaded. Now, I'm not going to lock them down loaded. Don't don't be getting me confused here. But I can stop faster at 80,000 pounds than I can at 31,000. Uh, thanks to modern advancements and ABS braking. <laughs> So, what we're hoping I couldn't quite see coming off the before I got over here is if there's any trucks in line on the other side of the building. It's hard to see because all this farm stuff over here, they ought to get rid of that junk. Uh, but hopefully, there's no trucks in line and we can get right into a door pretty much. That would be a okay with me. Yeah. Let's see if we can get through here without getting run over. Looks like they got got trucks hitting the dock. Oh, there's, there's a billman coming through. They can't go out the way they're supposed to. nothing we can do about it so they got they like to bring stuff out and dump on that pile there that's where they burn stuff so we're gonna run in get checked in and hopefully they can get us right in there must have y'all must have heard my prayer because to pull in here as i was going up to check in the uh truck that was in front of me he took off 
uh, got in the computer. Then I heard check on the computer, check in, and it said, uh, you're at the wrong location. <laughs> so, checked in, we're gonna pull straight in, well, back straight into the door pretty much. <sighs> Trying to get my mirror where it's not so spotted up. Rain builds up on your windows and your mirrors, and you can't see crap. Going from light to dark, that makes it that's the hardest. All right, we are loaded and on our way. Onward, Jeffrey! Uh, be up there, Google's showing 1145. We're doing good, guys. We're doing good. We ought to be able to make this turn. As long as nothing happens between here and there, we're, we're gonna get there. All right, we are almost all the way back. It is 1148, you know, naturally I catch red lights. But it ain't done bad, it'll be back before noon. That's why he told me, we quit receiving at noon. You got it, dude. <laughs> As long as I'm here, or they said they quit accepting trucks that afternoon, so. We're doing what we can, we're doing what we can. Didn't really have the best deck of cards to play with here, but. We're getting her did, we're getting her did. Nice turn signal. and taquitos from quick trip I just hit the right spot most of the time so. all right next stop home hopefully all right guys we made it we are parked up getting our stuff ready to go got my fancy computer bag here ain't that some how about it <laughs> oh we're gonna go turn our paperwork in and get ready to head to the house and try to figure out what we're gonna do this weekend. So, y'all stay safe out there. God bless you and don't trust the government. 